So here's the large S a little closer up and uh, as you can see it's just the board I haven't um, plugged too many cables in there's just the uh, the main power connector up here and the ribbon cable for the LCD down here I have plugged in uh, the filament sensor so that one's there I haven't plugged in any thermistors or fans or anything else um, I did purchase this module here which allows you to um, connect to a computer as a host and um, you can't do that without this module so that's, that's a, it's one thing that's a little bit of a downside is you don't get direct connectivity to to your um, to your PC um, without this board and this board's a little bit cumbersome um, I plan on probably using an extension cable to make this a little a little safer to use. It's probably quite easy to break that, and it, getting the cable in and out might be awkward. Um, and obviously, the other issue is the uh, USB card is actually on the board um, with the uh, current version I have. The, the SD card is on the LCD display, and that makes it easy accessible. This is going to make it a little bit harder, so um, if you're going to just use the USB, uh, just use the SD card for files and printing with, then obviously you need to make sure that's easy accessible. So, um, yeah, you'd probably end up using the um, USB for this, or uh, maybe getting a Wi Fi link for this later on. But for now, I've just got the board and the USB um, module. To allow me to connect but I probably will go some form of connectivity um, Ethernet or Wi-Fi later on but I just wanted to show the board a bit closer up so um, here it is with the LCD screen which is uh, a very nice uh, touch screen apart from my pictures of it so there you can see the LCD screen's a bit better this picture of it there there's the four heat sinks in the top left corner um, I bought mine with these drivers, which is the uh, LV8729 drivers. Um, these apparently can go to 128-bit uh, micro-stepping, so I shall show you that on their website, which actually I'll go to now, so I'll show you where. This is the website. There's the top. The, the address is uh, www.lurge.com. Um, that's spelt there, L-E-R-D-G-E. -E. So uh, yeah, www.lurge.com. Um, I bought these from AliExpress. I didn't buy them direct from Lurge, so um, they're easily available on AliExpress. That's where I got them from. Um, just go on AliExpress and search for Lurge S or the Lurge X board, which is the the more common one. Um, Anyway, I'll get back to this. So here's the board and the drivers. If I go here, this has got a bit of an explanation about it. Uh, so here's the drivers that I've purchased, which is these. That's the uh, oh, LV8729. And as you can see there, they go all the way up to uh, 128 micro step. So they'll do the full the full spectrum there from full step, half step, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, thirty-two, sixty-four, and one twenty-eight step. Um, they are rated apparently, according to this document, they are rated for a maximum current of two amps, and they are factory default set at one point six five. Uh, so we'll see what they're like. Um, I've got TMC versions. To swap out with if, if they these don't perform very well but I'm hoping they'll be good so that's the drivers I've got this is the board but this is actually the the uh, the X version this is the smaller version I shall find the one that I've got um, let's go to document 
actually. So you've had to type in Lurge S because it's all about the Lurge X on this board now. Uh, maybe not, no, wrong place. Maybe I can find it in the tutorials again. Uh, is that it? There it is. So this is the Lurge S board, which is the version that I have. It's got a slightly different power input connector. Um, you can put six limit switches on it and a few other things. So the Lurge S is slightly more features on the Lurge S than the Lurge X. And um, this is basically what it looks like as a wiring diagram. So you can put the filament sensor, there's a dedicated port for the filament sensor, there's a dedicated port for an LED. There's a uh, port for a NTC 100K thermistor. There's also a, a temperature probe, which can be used as a set up as a thermocouple. Uh, there's obviously a hot end cooling fa fan, a model cooling fan. You've only got one hot end um, and one heat bed output. So it's only limited really for one extruder so as you see it's only got space for four drivers and um, you can add a uh, AC heat bed module which this port here is all about on the this top right corner so that port there auto P you can put a AC heated bed with a um, solid state relay on so and not use the the DC powered heat bed and that's basically the board and the layout of it really um, there's place there in the center for um, automatic leveling related interface so there's some touch stuff that touch center sensor stuff that can go on these ports there and um, yeah that's about it really that's that's the S board in its entirety but it's a you know it's quite a compact little board I've seen mixed well some mixed videos on YouTube really the, the video, YouTube videos I've seen so far they don't really show um, much about the, the this board um, in terms of settings or you know how how anyone got on with the board in terms of tuning it and sorting out drivers or there's not really much information at all, it's just a few bleak videos. So I'm going to try and put on something about this board as I uh, go about my way of installing it into my existing printer. And I'll try and put on this video series about what I've learned about this board. So uh, this is just the start, guys. This is just the board, the website, um, just some basic information that I'm learning at the moment. So it's a bit of a learning curve for myself. Um, I've only just discovered this board, really. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to be installing it into is my Core XY at the moment. Um, this is how it is currently. It runs okay. It's not brilliant. These are just cheap linear rails off eBay. They're not decent quality ones and um, it shows so these will all be replaced and rebuilt uh, this whole top carriage here will soon get changed and rebuilt it's all a bit of a mess because uh, it was running on um, linear guides like well uh, sorry it was running on IGUS polymer bearings in these housings so they were actually IGUS bearings but over time because this does get quite warm um, it, they were starting to fail and I had some alignment issues so uh, I changed to uh, linears just to just to help and um, anyway so this is the printer I'm going to be installing this board into here's the board again there is the Lurge S the 32-bit processor board um, with a thermocouple input on board, uh, dedicated filament sensor, 
um, only for one extruder, uh, one extruder heating element output and one one heat bed output, but with the allowance for an AC module. So it's quite a compact little board, and uh, I think it's going to suit what I want for now. And the ability to change these drivers is, is ideal from, for what I'm trying to do with it. So, uh, yeah, there it is. There's the Lurge S board. And I shall get on and start installing it and continue this video and see how it goes. And just quickly, here's the uh, config file. One thing I should show the way you actually set this up, this board is not open source. Um, it's pre-written software what you have to do is set up a config file so uh, you can change all the basic parameters which is easily achieved via the website so if I go back to my website you can go to Lurge, go to document and click on the configuration tool and here you basically put in your information so set your color whatever you want the color to be and here's where you put your distances of um, size of your machine. There are some advanced settings that you have to be aware of, so um, you know don't quickly blitz through this settings page without making sure there isn't something you haven't set up. And it just goes on and on, and you just input all your information for your printer, and it generates a file for you. And what it actually generates is just a text file. Um, so all it's going to generate is this text file for you. Just try and shrink that down a bit. So um, yeah, you get this text file, <coughs> and it's, it's just basic M code commands that set your printer up. And obviously, <coughs> you can edit this file at will later on if you find something isn't correct. Uh, so here, look, M93 X zeros. Y1, Z1, A1, B0, and all this is doing is setting the uh, default moving direction forward and reverse. So you either set one, set it to a one, or if you want it in reverse, you set it to a zero. Simple. So uh, it's just a basic config file, but you you obviously can't dig down into the fundamental operating of this board at the moment. It's not open source. You can just tweak with the config for now. Um, I'm not sure if there's any open access way into the the core um, operating system of the chip or what it's actually running or if, whether that will be available. I've, I've no idea. All I know is you have to set everything via this config file. So just bear that in mind with this board. It's not it's not like Marlin or it's not written for you to be able to open an Arduino or anything and, and just play with. You, you have a limited amount of scope of change of what you can do with it really. So it's a limited board. But some senses I think that makes it simple to install and set up and hopefully all the nasty stuff's been done for you. So uh, we shall see how this works out. So there's the Lurge board setup page again on their website. You can download the config tool or you can just edit the config file directly um, so there's the config file it generates again I won't open it again because it'll just open in, in um, notepad or something so yeah you generate a config file and you can then edit that file afterwards put it on the put it on the USB uh, sorry on the SD card put the SD card into the Lurge S board and uh, you go to a screen where you can click on upload and it will detect the file on the SD card it will overwrite the settings and it will reboot and then you've updated it but you can get into most of the settings via the screen page actually it's just some of the more intensive settings you can't change via the screen at the moment um, so there it is there's the Lurge S board again um, the filament sensor and uh, I shall get on installing it into my Core XY machine which is doesn't look like that anymore it looks like that so I'll get on installing it into that machine 
which is there it was when I was changing the linears. Um, what a mess. So yeah, I shall get on and see uh, what happens when I've tweaked to get it into here. So I'll update this in a minute. 